Hi, I'm John Batum. This is Trailers from Hell. I'm excited to be telling you about On the Waterfront, which is a bucket list movie if ever there was one. It was nominated for 12 Academy Awards and won eight of them, including picture, director, actor, writer, actress, cinematography, and editing. It had four other nominations that it should have won, too. On the Waterfront is about an ex-prize fighter played by Marlon Brando who's turned longshoreman on the New York docks, which is a world of total corruption. And what he sees there, how workers are abused, beaten, and even murdered, is totally repulsive to him. But being a tiny fish in a tank full of barracudas, he feels helpless until something happens that moves his conscience to stand up to the dock bosses. And the movie is brilliantly cast by the director, Elia Kazan, with Brando, Eva Marie Saint, Rod Steiger, Lee J. Cobb, and Carl Malden. But it's not only an indictment of corrupt unions, it's about conscience. Brando says, conscience, that stuff can drive you nuts. Many critics have said the film was made by Kazan to justify his testifying in front of Joe McCarthy's House on American Activities Committee. And that was an act that many people never forgave Kazan for. Other people had refused to testify and had been blacklisted by the movie studios for years and years. Actors, writers, and directors' careers were ruined by the witch hunt that McCarthy conducted. But Kazan testified and named names, and the resentment in the film community was so great that the AFI 30 years later refused to give this brilliant director a Life Achievement Award. The Directors Guild had a little more ability to separate politics and art and gave him a Life Achievement Award in 1987. I mean, one of the great things about this movie is the performance of Marlon Brando as the tortured ex-prize fighter, just trying to get along in the brutal world he lives in. If there's a better performance by a man in the history of film in America, I don't know what it is, says Kazan in his memoirs. And Brando single-handedly changed the face of acting in the world forever. Roger Ebert noted, that he cut through decades of screen mannerisms and provided a fresh, alert, quirky acting style that was not realism so much as a kind of heightened riff on reality. No one who's ever seen this film ever forgets the famous I could have been a contender scene in the back of a taxi where his brother Rod Steiger pulls a gun on him. What's so great about it is Brando's reaction isn't one of fear or shock or even anger. It's one of extreme sadness, and we have been treated to some of the greatest acting, writing, and directing ever seen anywhere.